Hello, my name is Mary Ann Jones. I'm a Vice President of Mortgage Lending for Guaranteed Rate Affinity, and I'm here today with three colleagues from Caldwell Banker and Mendham. They are Ellen Kaiser Gordon. Hi, Mary Ann. Hi, Ellen. Susan Prisco. Hi, Mary Ann. Hello, Susan. And last but certainly not least, Diane Tolly. Hi, ladies. Hello, Diane. Welcome everyone to episode one of our Safe at Home series. There is little doubt that COVID-19 has substantially changed our lives over the past few weeks. I don't think there are any of us that could disagree with that statement. But the questions I get as a loan officer these days are most often centered around forbearance. Therefore, I'd like to speak to you today for less than five minutes, but I want to speak to you about forbearance. So first off, I want to say to you that this presentation is for informational use only. If you or your clients, ladies, are looking for specific data about a situation, you or they need to contact your lender directly. So that said, what happened on March 27th is the president signed an act called the CARES Act. And I'm sure that all of you and all of our clients have heard about the CARES Act, but that's where borrowers can request forbearance for mortgage payments. And what happens is it is only available to federally backed loans. So I think this might be a good time for me to pause and see if any of you have a question. I do, Marianne. One of my clients asked me, is forbearance applicable to federally backed mortgages? And if so, what exactly is a federally backed mortgage? That's an excellent question, Ellen, because if you're asking it, I'm sure there are a lot more folks that are asking the same type of question. So what is a federally backed mortgage? It is a mortgage on a one to four family loan that has been purchased or serviced by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac or insured or guaranteed by FHA, VA or USDA. The only way to know if your loan is eligible is to contact your lender directly. So that would be my suggestion. Thank you, that clarifies it. Perfect. Perfect, glad to help. Let's define fair forbearance. For anyone who doesn't know, forbearance is an agreement with a borrower and a lender to reduce or suspend mortgage payments for a specified period of time. I would like to stress that forbearance is not a payment waiver or forgiveness. Mm -hmm. I would love the population to understand that that is the case. If there's one thing that anyone walks away from this presentation today remembering, it's that this is not a forgiveness program. I suggest to anyone going into the forbearance program to get information in writing. First of all, the length of the forbearance period is very, very important. Get that in writing. If the, there is a new payment or reduced payment, if not suspended, get that in writing. And lastly, get the terms of repayment in writing. I think it's really prudent advice to get all of this in writing because there are no free mortgage payments. It's not the case. So currently there are three types of forbearance program. The first is a repayment plan where you pay an extra amount to your regular mortgage payment until the full amount is paid in full. The second is the lump sum payment and that's the one as a loan officer that scares me the most because mm -hmm. the forbearance period can be three, six, 12 months for instance. So let's say your payment is $2,000 a month and you push it off for six months. That's $12,000. In the lump sum payment, the seventh month, you'd owe $12,000. So that's the scary one. That's the lump sum payment. And that's why I say to get the terms in writing. But the last type is a loan modification, which could extend the loan out after the 30 year or the 15 year term. But don't assume that a skipped payment will be tacked on to the end because not all lenders are using the same requirements. So what I am telling my borrowers is don't stop making your mortgage payment until you've been approved for your forbearance because these programs are not forgiveness programs. They do require that the paused payments be repaid. So ladies, is there a question that I can answer for you at this time? Yes, Marianne, I keep having people ask me, who is eligible for forbearance? Susan, that is an excellent question because I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, am I eligible? Aren't I eligible? How do I find this out? Well, there are four criteria. The first is if you have lost work due to COVID-19, you are eligible. If you are sick and cannot work 
you are eligible for forbearance. If you are caring for a sick family member, therefore you cannot work, you are eligible for forbearance. And last, but certainly not least, if you are experiencing a loss or a significant decline in income due to the pandemic, you are eligible for forbearance. Susan, have I answered your question appropriately? Absolutely, Marianne, that's great information, thank you. Certainly, okay, very good. Uh, these questions have been so on point today, ladies, that um, we, I do believe that we have one more question. Yeah, I wanna know if, if they, you're lucky enough to be granted forbearance and then you miss a payment, how would that affect your credit? Diane, that is a question that I'm sure that I'm gonna answer probably every day for the next several months. So if you skip a payment without a forbearance plan, you will be considered delinquent. It will be a negative on your credit report and to your credit score. But under the CARES Act, the lender will not report the mortgage late if you have a forbearance plan in effect. Mm, great, great. Thank you for your knowledge on that. Thank you. Absolutely. So in short, what I'm saying to you ladies, to you and to the clients that are looking at this video is please don't stop making your mortgage payments unless you've been approved for a forbearance because these programs are not payment forgiveness programs. They'll require the paused payments to be repaid in full. So for a written copy of today's presentation or if you'd like further mortgage information, reach out to me at M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E dot J-O-N-E-S at G-R-A-R-A-T-E dot com or call or text me at 973-722-1173. And for Ellen, Sue, and Diane, you can reach out to them at the Coldwell Banker Mendham office. Okay. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Marianne. It. Thank you, Marianne. Great information as always. Thank you, ladies. And thank you to everyone who has now viewed episode one of our Safe at Home series. Bye. Bye. Bye.